Libra. You are going through a good phase of life, hence your love life also will improve this year. This is a special year for those who want to rekindle the old love affair. When Venus starts its slow down from July to September, there are huge chances for you people to meet with your ex-lovers. Taking them back into your life will not be easy, so you both need to talk clearly about the past wounds and take enough time to heal them. Venus retrogression will be bad news for singles and committed people as, during this phase, the reality of your relationship will come out. Venus retrogression phase can be harsh for the existing love birds. So, please do not take any difficult decisions in this phase. Until Venus retrogression and after Venus turns direct, you will be able to be happy with your partner. During this retrogression, you should not start a new love life. If you were dating much before Venus's retrogression, you could go ahead with the plans to propose and marry. January and December will be ideal for being with your loved ones. During these months, singles will get opportunities to mingle with like-minded people. You should use these seasons to find whom you want to be your partner. However, these months could be better for giving commitments. So wait until March to May to get into a new relationship. Married people will have a hard time from July to September, so they should be loyal to each other. Retrograde planets can bring game-changing events, so you have to be careful. Whatever the transit can bring should be seen in the natal chart also. If the promise of a good love life is not present in the horoscope, the yearly horoscope cannot produce a different result till you will be able to improve the relationship. Scorpio Being the most intense sign, you are ruled by the most aggressive planet in the zodiac Mars. You are possessive by nature and want your entire spouse's attention. Scorpios do not like someone cheating on them, that will make them very revengeful. 2023 will be a very important year for love and romance, but you should understand love is not aggression. Love is kind, forgives everything, and doesn't rejoice in sin. You should be very watchful about your love life. Try to be practical in love, if so, this year will be full of love and happiness. At the beginning of 2023, your ruler Mars will be in a slowdown mode that can be a block for your love life. Mars will be turning direct in January itself, but the retrogression is a reminder from the universe not to trigger anyone's emotions. You will spend the first quarter solving the issues in romance. From July to September, the planet for love will be moving in a slowdown mode. When Venus is in a slowdown mode, you will have complexities in your love life. You will feel like meeting your ex-lovers, which has two possibilities. This is a good year to rekindle your past love, or the return of your past lover can create issues in your life, you can both reject each other. Please deal with the situation carefully. Otherwise, there will be long-term damage in the love life. If you are already going through any relationship issues, it can get aggravated in this retrogression phase. The solar transit through the sector for relationships will be during April, triggering the relationships. There are chances for new relationships during this year, and the most promising time during this year will be around March. Venus, your ruler, will be entering the relationship sector, providing immense opportunities for stable relationships. Jupiter will also influence your love life as the days pass and Saturn will support it. During Mercury retrogression, you should be careful with your communications regarding your relations. You may get many chances to start new relationships in October and November. This will be a good time to meet new people as well. This will bring some promising opportunities to get into a relationship or marriage. Sagittarius Mercury rules your love life and it will be supporting improvement in the love life. However, you should not forget that Mercury will be in slowdown from the beginning of the year and it will be retrograding every quarter. Issues from the past can resurface and they may need a good solution. Between July and September, Venus, the planet of love and the ruler of the fifth house of romance will start its slow down mode and that can make your love life little complex. So, during this time, you should not get into any arguments. The days of September and October also will be very crucial for your love relations. The sun's transit during these days may not be that great and that may bring some complexities in the relationships. Being an air sign, you don't like to take up commitments very easily. 
You are a dual sign and your seventh house is ruled by a dual planet Mercury. You have difficulty in decision making, so you should not force yourself to be in love. At the same time, you should not ignore the emotions of the loved ones. During the Mercury retrogression months, you will be able to reconcile with your ex-lovers. However, you do not have to do anything against your consciences either. From July to September, Venus, the primary indicator of love will be slowing down. You should take enough time for decision making. During this year, you will have the desire to be with the companion. The sun will be moving through the fifth house of romance during March to April so you will be getting some opportunities to meet with like-minded people. You will be getting multiple opportunities to date and set new relationships. In order to improve the relationship, you need to be patient and positive. Jupiter, your ruler is actually an unrealistic planet, you should remember that.